I wouldn't have known your favorite color is orange and your favorite food is turkey sandwiches. Wouldn't have known you like thunderstorms and your favorite animal is jellyfish. Wouldn't suspect you were passionate about art and talented. I'd speak on your work, but it speaks for itself, I bet. I bet I wouldn't have known. You're scared of Mr. Clean. That you were born in St. Louis and your mother had you at 15. 15? 15 to turn 16 the next week and she promised you a lot of things, didn't she? Your father's a trip, I really must say. Y'all talk shit in Spanish all day, every day, but your love is long distant, because he left you at seven. All for a Hispanic he met on Black Planet. See, I never would have thought that at all about you, or even that you went to the same high school Darren Wilson went to. Why, God, that shot Mike Brown, you went to his racist ass school. Then had to sleep through it in a room your cousin died in before she was sued, coincidentally the same night as Mike, August 9th. Never knew they lied about it in the news, but the night riot passed, you spoke to God mad and told him it should have been you, and that day, that day you lost faith in whatever Christianity had to say. It's funny how God can say he loves me, but take my loved ones away, so why you go to Bible study on Tuesday? Was it the free food? Is that why you came? Always made sure you set a blunt ablaze before you showed your face in the past to me. But he let you stay. At the same place you claimed you hate. The same place you ran away to at 17. Already on the streets, your mom again with the rent money in February, honey. So in March, you ducked off and slept in cars. Couldn't dream good things, so you stared at stars, never wishing this on your kids, little siblings, or 16 cousins, because you're the oldest. So of all the broken promises you witnessed, this is one you still kept. To give them a better life, but begin with yourself. Learn right from wrong when you lost, seek help, but commence this process confessing of all these and many things you've seen in life you never learned to love yourself. I'm proud that you learned that lesson. I must confess it's a blessing to witness you go through that mess and come out stronger in the end. And it warms my heart to watch you turn healing into a trend bigger than Silly Bands in 2010. I saw every fight you were in, winced at the sight of fiends come a fringe, cringed at when they seek revenge, flinched every time you were hit then, in a positive light. You convinced yourself to work up the mic to get back up again. As you remembered, you're the oldest of five kids combined on both sides. Oldest of 17 grandkids, oldest of 29, great grandkids and counting, shortest person in the room but a mountain taller than Everest, 29,000, 29 feet. You are all these things plus infinity, but I never would have known that had I not met me.